All right, everybody, I put on pants for this, so you better enjoy yourselves. Hello, ladies, men, and non-binary friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be ranking my anime husbands on how badly they would treat me. Now, we know that these characters aren't real, and it's fun to fantasize about them, whatever, etc. But <laughs> sometimes as fans, we can blur the lines between fanon and canon. Things that are true within the fandom or within your own interpretation of the character and things that are reality. So I'm going to be doing a little reflection on my own obsessions and uh, we'll see upon reflection whether or not these characters that I simp so heavily for would actually be good partners. So let's go. <laughs> we have characters from My Hero Academia, we have characters from Jujutsu Kaisen, and from Skate the Infinity. Those are the three shows that I focus on. Those are like the three horniest shows I know. So we have a nice little array. I'm sure we have some fan favorites. We have Hawks, we have Dobby, we have Gojo. We will get to it. Also, here's the categories. I should probably say this. God, I'm so bad at this. Top one, the worst, I would rather be speared. Basically, like the worst, they would be terrible in a relationship, not good at all. Number two, Gaslight Central. Not the worst of the worst, but certainly some problematic behaviors there. Definitely not someone that you would want an actual relationship with. Third category, the bare minimum. They get the job done, I guess, but again, not like an ideal partner situation. The next one is hot enough. Sure, they have some quirky behaviors. They have some things that may not be so desirable, but they're hot and I'm willing to put up with some of those behaviors. The next, I would crawl on glass to be with you. Obviously, these are the ones. Exemplary partners. Absolutely, if you were in real life, I would tackle you to the ground. Let's jump right in. Hopefully, I haven't lost you. All right, let's start with... Yeah, let's start with Small Might. Now, I am of the persuasion that I think All Might is a bit much, but Small Might is actually really wholesome and lovely and wonderful. He is this broken man. And for some reason, that has always been attractive to me. <laughs> So, small might, I would crawl on glass to be with you. Here we are, starting out strong, number one. Truly, I think he would be actually such a good partner because he's lost so much in his life. If you meant something to him, then he would want to make sure that he could keep you. He would want to make sure that he could do everything he could to make you happy. All right, next up is Nanami. Oh, we know the daddy issues are rampant, so just shut your fucking mouth. Nanami is just another level of, like, everything that I love about, like, sensei characters is just amplified through Nanami. He is strict, he is decisive, he is just like, oh my god, I love Nanami so much, I'm having a moment. Now, here's the thing, because he has structure and rules, I'm sure there are things that he is pretty stubborn on, and that would kind of piss me off. But honestly, I feel like I could make him happy. On top of that, I'm an excellent baker. I'm very good at following directions in more ways than one. <laughs> But I think, I think Nanami and I would butt heads a little bit. I think he's too Capricorn-y for me. I'm a bit of a free bird, so I'm gonna put hot enough. I love Nanami, but I know my limits. Compress, Gaslight Central. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> also, I'm looking into the viewfinder. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you directly. I'm sorry, y'all, all you Mr. Compressed Simps. He absolutely would gaslight the shit out of you. This guy comes from a family of thieves and con men and swindlers. He would gaslight the shit out of you and you wouldn't even notice because he's so pretty. You would be too busy looking at his abs to notice that he's stolen your credit card and taken like all of your savings. Hot, but not worth it. All Might. I think the bare minimum. I don't think he would actually gaslight you, but he absolutely would like miss out on dates and he would forget your birthday and he would like be too caught up in interviews to spend time with you and stuff like that. I feel like he doesn't see that as a selfish thing because like he's not really particularly enjoying it either. Like he wants to, this is his service to the world, but I think he would be too caught up in like his image and like wanting to be the symbol of peace and wanting to do the best for humanity to actually maintain like a working relationship. Someone said this in a video where like All Might looks like he's been divorced twice and I cannot agree more. Like it, he's absolutely a divorcee. Shota Aizawa. Now again, I'm sorry Aizawa Simps. I myself also understand your pain. This man would not have time for you. This man would, he's another one, absolutely would miss dates, forget your birthday. And again, not on purpose. I don't think he's built for like that kind of, like a regular relationship. I feel like for Aizawa, if you are not someone who is able to etch their time into his schedule, then he just won't see you. And he would like forget you like a goldfish. Like if you don't see him every day, he would forget about you. <laughs> that being said, I do love a good sensei. 
I think he's fantastic and he does have a good heart. So I'm gonna put him in hot enough because I'd be willing to put up with it. Let's be real. Dobby, this, this is a tough one. If you regularly follow my TikTok, you know my thoughts on Dobby. And I think he is absolutely a brat. Now, before you start clicking away, this man does not give off Dom energy. You think he gives off Dom energy because he's an angsty boy, because he wears all black. That's why you think he gives off Dom energy. This man is fucking touch starved. He was abused as a child. He's looking for attention. He is giving bratty switch at best, if not bratty sub. So for Dobby, you need to have fucking rules and boundaries and shit like that. You cannot let him walk all over you. If you are a sub in a relationship with Dobby, Gaslight Central. He would absolutely gaslight the shit out of you. But if you were in a relationship with Dobby and you were a switch or a dom, it could work. Here's the thing though. He would, you would absolutely need to like degrade him <laughs> and be like, listen here you burnt bacon bitch. <laughs> I fucking told you to take out the fucking garbage yesterday. And he'd be like, what you gonna do about it? Or whatever. Like, ah! honestly, would the relationship in general be a little bit tense? I think regardless, yes, because he has trauma and baggage and in any relationship where you have trauma and baggage, you need to be pretty patient. That being said, show me your scars, I'll show you mine. Um, I think we'd be a good pair. And I would say hot enough. Some of you might disagree with me. I'm sorry. All right, next up is L. Oh, I have such a soft spot for L from Death Note. He is just this awkward little bean. I love, I love awkward women too, but there's something that hits different about just like awkward, socially awkward men. They just like warm my heart. Where like, I'm used to men being very intimidating and aggressive. And when men are a little bit awkward and a little bit more socially reserved, it's just so refreshing and it makes me feel safe because it's like, okay, this man isn't gonna try to like beat the shit out of me. You know, like <laughs> again, these are the things that I think about. I love Elle. I think he's fantastic. He's so sweet, but he is so driven where He's another one where he would just be so busy and he would be taking cases and like staying up till 2 a.m. But if you were someone who could deal with his ridiculous schedule, if you bring him like a little tray of cupcakes at like 2 a.m. and just like snuggle with him on the couch, like that sounds lovely. Would I crawl on broken glass to be with him? Probably not, but I am gonna put him in hot enough. We need to get a little bit more in the other categories. Can you tell I have a type? It's all broken men. <laughs> Okay, next up is Hawks. Hawks is another one that is hotly debated. I also think that he, people think he has Dom energy and I just do not see it. He's another one who's just so heavily traumatized, so touch starved, he needs love. Um, but you also, you, you cannot have him walk all over you because he will take advantage of that. If you are a sub for Hawks, I think it would be Gaslight Central. I think same as Dobby. They have pretty similar trauma, but yeah, but if you, if you were a switch or a Dom, I think you'd have a good time. But he's another one, he would miss dates, he would forget your birthday. There's a lot here that would do that. I guess the ones, all of the characters that have like a certain devotion to their work, to their job, kind of have that vibe. Hawks is gonna go in the bare minimum. And the only reason that I would rank him lower than Dobby is because Dobby is a villain and has a lot of free time. Whereas Hawks is busy all the fucking time. Um, hopefully this is still enjoyable to watch. I'm getting very analytical. I wanted this to be fun and now I'm like thinking too far into it. <laughs> okay, Endeavor, I would rather be speared. Listen, he's a beefcake. He's so, no way would that man be able to hold a functioning relationship. We've seen it. We've seen him fail. We've seen him fail time and time and time again. Cherry Blossom, I love Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom is absolutely a gay man for sure, but you know, if you ever wanted a taste of this, <laughs> I would, I would allow. From what we've seen in Skate the Infinity, Kaoru is someone who absolutely would make sacrifices for those he loves. However, if you cross him, if you betray him, if you are disloyal, you have lost that relationship forever. So you need to be like all in. I think, oh, I should have made another category. I think it would be a little bit much for me, but that's that's more my hangups. So I'm gonna put him in the bare minimum, but he actually, I think objectively, would be a really good boyfriend. Go, Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting for my life here. Listen, the mommy issues are rampant with this guy. I haven't even read the manga, just from the little bit that I've seen, okay? So any femmes, you're already at risk for that whole situation. <laughs> I'm truly torn between the bare minimum and Gaslight Central. I am gonna go with Gaslight Central for the simple fact that Gojo needs love from everyone. He would not be above flirting with people 
to to just receive some validation i feel like he's one of those people who kind of just he flirts with people for no reason because just because he can and i would call him out on that and he would for sure be like what i'm just being nice and i would like i would be ready to swing fact um i would crawl on glass to be with you i would He's the sweetest man. You can't find a sweeter man than Fatgum, truly. He doesn't seem like he has a lot of baggage. Maybe he does, maybe we'll explore that further in the future, but he's very understanding, he's very paternal, he's very warm. He has that like DILF energy that I just think he would be an exceptional partner. Always making sure you're okay, very caring. He's giving like, he's giving very like cancer vibes, you know? Where he's just very, very paternal, very needing to be needed, you know? Which I enjoy, personally. Not everybody's thing. I love fat gum. Crawl on broken glass to be with you. Joe. I love Joe. I love Joe. But he's another one that would absolutely flirt with people because he could. I'll put him in the bare minimum. Oh, it's so sad because I truly, I people are going to think I don't like Cherry and I don't like Joe. I love them both so much and they're incredible characters. But I think as partners, the only people that Cherry and Joe are good for is each other. There's no one else that could be paired with Cherry and Joe. It just wouldn't work. The two are like absolute halves. I think he would be a good partner though. I think he'd be very loving and caring and he's very, he gives off himbo. He gives very much himbo vibes. If you love a good himbo, that's, that's where you need to be. Twice, I would crawl on broken glass to be with you. I love Twice so much. I'm pretty sure I'm the biggest Twice fan. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty sure I'm the biggest Jean Bouvai Gawara fan in the entire world. I love him so much. Again, I would literally, I would, I would crawl on broken glass just to like hang out with twice. Yeah, he has broken bird syndrome. Again, is this exposing me for someone who really is attracted to broken men? Absolutely. Am I going to reflect on that? No. Um, <laughs> but I love twice. I love his whole journey. I love that he genuinely has a good heart and it's clear that like villainy was not something that he like wanted to get into it was just a matter of circumstance where like there was nothing else that he could do oh i think he would absolutely be a loving partner tell me who tell me twice wouldn't be like the sweetest most wonderful lovable partner you know obviously again lots of baggage there's trauma there and you would have to deal with all that but i think that's worth it he would just oh my god he would absolutely worship you 100 percent. that is everybody that is the final ranking i hope you enjoyed i hope it was enjoyable for you if it wasn't i'm sorry don't watch any more of my videos because really this is as good as it gets <laughs> sometimes we as a fandom get our heads caught up in fanon and that's fine you're you're allowed to fantasize and i think that that's lovely having your own image of of these characters and what they mean to you in real life but i think it's nice to reflect on like what they might actually be like what those situations would be like if they were put in them for real because again the reason why we love them most of them is because of what they've been through there's a lot of trauma there, but that also means that, like, it's kind of harder to be a functional human being. <laughs> so, anyway, let me know if you want me to do more of these in the future. I definitely plan on doing some of different varieties. Please leave a like, please leave a comment, and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye!